Hallelujah, everybody. Welcome to HR Revivals, where it's always the hour for revival. I'm your brother in the Lord, Brother HR, and I am so happy to be here with you, where it's always the hour for revival. I bless the Lord for having you tune in. Father, hide me behind the cross. Let it be none of me, but all of you, Father God. I ask you to go before me and speak through these lips of clay, Father. Let everybody leave here singing. I got just what I wanted from the Lord. Oh, I smell the glory of God. A sweet fragrance just came in the room. Glory to God. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for your power. I love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. The kingdom of heaven, the person, and the power. I'm going to be talking about that today. Luke 17, 20 and 21. Boy, I wish I had an amen button. Glory to God, that'd be cool. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Now I know some people be listening. Glory to God, an amen button. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I might just invent one of them, the amen button. Patent pendant. Glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. And when they were demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said, this is Jesus talking, the kingdom of God coming, not with observation, meaning you ain't even going to see God coming when his glory hits you. Glory to God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Neither shall they say, Lo here or lo there, for behold, the kingdom of God is within you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I bless the word of God today. I bless the Lord that I'm able to give you this message by the power of the Holy Ghost and the revelation of God's power. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost, given to me in prayer. Today, I'm going to teach you, as my pastor calls it, kingdom economics, or kingdom knowledge. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. There's an earthly economic system, but he said in the Word of God, if my kingdom was of this world, my people would fight over it. But because my kingdom is not of this world, hallelujah, therefore my people will not fight over it. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Bless the Holy Ghost. I bless the Word of God for the power of God upon this Word. If that's the case, his kingdom is not of this world, but his kingdom is within us, those who are born again, Bless you, Holy Ghost. And we're in the world, but not of the world. I bless you, Holy Ghost. And the same power that raised Christ from the dead, I bless you, Holy Ghost, lives in us. Bless the Lord. I bless you, Holy Ghost. Thank you for the power of God, Lord Jesus. Then that means we are kingdom-minded people, or we should be anyways. How do you live kingdom-minded? If I don't see it in the bank account for me, I declare in the name of Jesus that the angels of God from the treasury of heaven that's responsible for the finances to go and get what belongs to me in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Ghost, and to bring it to me. I command what I cannot see, for faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And we walk by faith and not by sight. So if it's mine and I know the enemy stole it, I just declare it. Hallelujah. I declare the finances to come in. That's just one example. If I'm sick in my body and God ain't sick because thy kingdom come, the Holy Ghost, thy will be done. Bless the power of God. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. On earth as it is in heaven, and there ain't no sickness in heaven. And he said in his word, he said, I wish above all things that you would prosper and be in health. Bless the Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Then if God ain't sick, and it's his will that I would prosper and be in health, even as my soul prospereth, then I go in Jesus' name and declare my healing to come from the created body parts room in heaven. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. So if I need healing, I'll just loose it right now from the very throne of God to come to my body. Today, I bless the Holy Ghost with the power of God in Jesus' name, and I bind up that spirit of sickness and cast it out by the power of God, Luke 10, 19. He's given us power over all the works of the devil. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. We got more power than the devil. We got Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I bless your power, Lord. I love you, Lord, for bringing this word to me for your people. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Me and my pastor was talking about this the other day, yesterday, as a matter of fact, over the phone. Bless you, Holy Ghost. And we got to shout and we got to rejoice in because the kingdom of God gets me excited because I'm kingdom-minded. My, Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. 
Bless the Lord. I love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. I am not a fleshly-minded man anymore, but the mind of God is upon me, and the kingdom of God is on my mind continually. I'm constantly trying my best to stay in a mode of prayer because if I can think upon the things of God, I can walk in the things of God because we'll walk out of the Spirit and not out of the ways of the flesh. Glory to God. I love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Today I'm going to teach you, as my pastor calls, kingdomnomics. The saying, kingdomnomics, came from my spiritual father and pastor. It was in the kingdom, he said, Jesus said, was in us. But just like with every kingdom, you need keys to access it. Matthew 16, 19 through 21 says that he has given us, Jesus has given us, the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. He said, whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. I thank you, Holy Ghost, and I love you, Lord Jesus. The kingdom of heaven is a person, Matthew 6, 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Seek ye first the kingdom. Matthew 6, 33. Go there with me. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. I hope somebody's already getting a message from God today. Matthew 6, 33. Hallelujah. I bless your power, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Whose righteousness? His, the kingdom of God. I bless your Holy Ghost. If we will walk in the ways of the Spirit, we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh, Bless the power of God. I love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. If we'll be more kingdom-minded than fleshly-minded, we can have whatsoever we ask because we will not be doubting when we request it before the Lord. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. We can come spotless. Bless the Lord before the throne of God because of the power of God in us. I love you, Holy Ghost. There's a true spirit and there's a false spirit. The true spirit of God is the kingdom of God. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. The kingdom of God. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. The kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of God. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Is within man. Hallelujah. I do love you, Holy Ghost, for this word. We've got more power in our mouth than the devil ever had in his little pitchfork. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. You've got the power to call things that be not as though they shall be because you are priests and princes and princesses unto the living God. And God does not discriminate. There's neither male nor female. I bless the power of God for the word of God coming forth today with power. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. We've been given power over all the works of the devil. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Lord. Why are people looking for keys to defeat the enemy when the enemy is already defeated. The Bible says that the gates of hell would not prevail against the house of God. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost, I love you, Jesus. The kingdom of God overtakes the kingdom of darkness. We ain't to run from the devil. We're to run against the devil. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost, I love you, Jesus. The kingdom of heaven is not vertical. Or, uh, it does not come down any longer. He came down as a dove gently, and now he rests on oh, man. I bless you, Holy Ghost, for the power of God. Hallelujah, Jesus. And now, bless you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Jesus. Now, that power rests upon us. Thank you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Jesus. And so now it no longer comes down vertically, but diagonally. We can walk. We walk by faith and not by sight. We are living in kingdom now, or we're supposed to be, because we're already seated with him in heavenly places, far above every principality and power. So if a demon comes into your home, into your mindset, and it shouldn't be there, it's invading kingdom living, you release the warring angels of God over that situation and declare that devil be gone, be Bless the Holy Ghost because the power of God living in you is greater than the powers of darkness. Hallelujah. Because I bless the Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. 
Bless your power, Holy Ghost, because when you pray, Lord, your word said and you believe and don't doubt, you got all of heaven back in you, baby, and you can have whatsoever you ask if you will not doubt it. And if you'll be like that, my Lord, hallelujah, Holy Ghost, you'll see greater miracles than that of Azusa Street. Bless your power, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. You see, one day, there's two kingdoms. There's a true Holy Ghost and there's a false spirit claiming to be God. That's Kundalini. We got to get rid of Kundalini in the church. Bless the Holy Ghost. I love your power, Lord God. We got to know what's the power of God and what's the imitation of God. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. If God is, if that God is disrupting service to the point that it's making a spectacle of what God's word is, that's Kundalini. But if we bless the power of God, I love you, Holy Ghost. If we have the power of God, we will know what's the power of the enemy because if it ain't in God's way, if it's disruptive to the word of God, if it's disruptive to the people around you, then you know it's not of God. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. That's the difference between Kundalini. That's between that's the difference between Kundalini and the Holy Ghost. There's a true kingdom of God, and there's a false kingdom from darkness trying to pretend to be the kingdom of God. Bless your Holy Ghost, I love you, Jesus. We've got two kingdoms that we're raging against. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. The kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. Glory to God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Jesus. I hope that's blessing somebody right there. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. God does not do anything out of order. He is a decent God. He's a God of decency and in order. So if anything is lacking, you see a woman barking like a dog, you better watch out, friend. That's a demon. How do I bless the Holy Ghost, I love you, Lord Jesus. How do I know that? Because my God ain't no hound of hell. My God don't bark. My God breaks the necks of the hell hounds. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost, I love you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, I'm about to have a repeat performance from last week. Bless the Holy Ghost. The glory of God just hit me. Thank God I had to pull in to hold on to I'm about to fall out again. I bless your power. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. The kingdom is a person. Matthew 6, 33. You see, one day God's children will enter into the place where the Father is because absent from the body to be present with the Lord, present in the body to be absent from the Lord. He is with us by the Spirit of God. But, but when we die and go home to be with the Lord, then we will be forever in His glory, ever in His presence. But until then, the kingdom of God lives within the, the earthen vessel. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Till we can get to the kingdom of heaven in the heavenly place to live forever, Bless you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Then the kingdom of heaven lives in us in this physical body till this physical body. Bless you, Holy Ghost, for the power of God, Lord. Till this physical body gives out, God lives in us. And then he takes us home to be with him. But right now, we're already home because he's with us in the spirit. Bless you, Holy Ghost. We got God's presence. We got God's power. I love you, Holy Ghost. I hope somebody's getting message something out of this message. Bless your Holy Ghost. I love your power, Lord. But those seeking God, hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. You see, one day God's children will enter into the place of heaven, but not until the person of heaven enters us. Hey, hallelujah, Holy Ghost. You can't go to the place of heaven until the person of heaven, the Holy Ghost, enters your life. Without him, you ain't going nowhere, baby, except one place, and that's Hades. You're going to hell without God in your life. You need the power of the Holy Ghost to overcome sin and hell. You need the power of God. People say, well, if you can live holy, you wouldn't need a Savior. Without a Savior, you can't live holy, baby. I want you to get out of that dumb mindset that you don't need God to live holy. Bull. You need God to be holy. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. I wouldn't want to serve a God that was surprised by my attacks. Oh, I didn't know you was going to get attacked. 
Oh, Lord, I didn't know I was going to get attacked. And God say, me neither. My God cannot be caught by the element of surprise because he made all the elements. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. And the devil's a defeated foe, so any time the devil goes and lies against you to God, the, the devil gets to hear, shut up and go back to hell, devil. Because God says the blood covers it. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you. Now, hold on now. Bless the power of God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I'm not saying you live any way you won't go to heaven. Boy, if I did that, you might as well take a bullet and shoot me and let me go on to hell. Because it's false doctrine. You cannot live any way you want to go to heaven. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost, I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. You cannot go to the place of heaven till the person of heaven enters us. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. The religious try to hold back God's move of his Holy Ghost. Matthew 23, 13. Now, we're going to camp out in Matthew today. If you don't like that, you can just shut me off right now. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Matthew 23. Might be Matthew. It is Matthew 23. I didn't know if it was Matthew 23 or 21. Matthew 23, 13. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you shut up the kingdom of heaven against men... For ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye that any may enter in to go in. That's not talking about the temple, the outer temple, but the inward temple of the Holy Ghost. They had a form of godliness, but denied the power thereof. They, they looked like they had the Holy Ghost because they looked holy and perfect and beautiful. But Jesus said, bless the Holy Ghost, the you. He said, you're like whitewashed tombs. You're clean on the outside. But on the inside, you're rotten and full of dead men's bones. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. What a wonderful word that was right there. That was for the religious hypocrites. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. But he said, you shut the door in men's faces who are trying to get into the kingdom of heaven. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. But oh, I got good news for you. Go to Matthew 21. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. 21, 31. Matthew 21 and 31. I love you, Holy Ghost. I'm trying to beat the uh, battery. It's dying on my phone. We got a storm coming up. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Where? Where of the twain did the wit? Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Verse 30, And he came to the second and said, Likewise, and he answered and said, I go, sir, and went not. Whether of them the twine did the will of his father, they say unto them the first. Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that the publicans, the politicians, and the harlots, the, the politicians and the harlots go in the kingdom of God before you. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. For John, verse 32, came unto you in the way of righteousness, there's the Holy Ghost, and you believed him not. There's the having the form of Godness but denying the power. But the publicans, the politicians, and the harlots believed him. And you, when you had seen it, Repented not afterward that you might believe him. Meaning you were so interested in the opinion of men that you lost the approval of the Holy Ghost. Watch out now, you big churches. You Bless your Holy Ghost, I love you, Lord. You better watch out, you big top churches. Better watch out. Bless the power of God. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Because if you ain't careful, you're going to lose the very Holy Ghost of heaven. Watch out now. I'm going to have biblical proof of that in about two minutes. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Those who think they're better than the children of God are the very ones that will lose the presence of the Holy Ghost. Matthew 21. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I know better than any of you. But I just love you enough to tell you the truth that you need Jesus. Bless the power of the Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. 
Mm. Lord, pray for me. I'm spitting up blood. Mm. 2143. Therefore I say unto you that the kingdom of God shall be taken from you and given to the nation, bringing forth the fruit thereof. Because they would read the scriptures and not believe them. That's in verse 42. Bless your Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. They would read the scriptures but deny what they was reading. They had the form of God but denied the power of God. That's why they lost the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. You can't. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. You can't live both lifestyles. They expect to go to heaven. Revelation 2, 4 through 5. Realize where you fall and repent or I will come quickly and remove the candlestick from its place. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you for the power of God's word. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Second Corinthians 4 and 7. He has put He has put treasures in earthen vessels. He has locked us up treasures in earthen vessels. I love you, Holy Ghost. But remember, He's given you the keys to the kingdom. Matthew 16, 19 through 21. He gave you the authority and the access to get the very blessings of the living God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. He gave us the authority to go in and to unlock all the treasures of God in the earthen vessels. Matthew 13, 52. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Turn there with me now, if you will. I told you we're going to camp out in Matthew. We're going to start a little fire and have some s'mores and everything. We're going to camp out in the glory today. Matthew 13, 52. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Matthew 13 and 52. I command the creative miracle in my body. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. From the body part room in heaven. I love you, Holy Ghost. Heal me, Lord Jesus, right now. Then said he unto them, Therefore, every scribe which is instructed under the kingdom of heaven by the Holy Ghost is like unto a man that is in the household which bringeth forth out of his treasure things new and old. Anything that looks like it never got unlocked in your life or somebody else's life. Since he's given us treasures in earthen vessels and the keys to the kingdom both, thank you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Jesus, then by the power of the Holy Ghost, we have the right to go in and unlock the blessings and the power of God in other people's lives. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Are you hearing me, friend? We have the power to unlock. Anything that the enemy has stolen, bless your Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. In people's lives, if your dream died and it got locked up, either something new that God wanted to give you or something old, and it looks like you never are going to get it unlocked, you don't know who you are and the devil don't want you to know, I'm here to tell you you're a blood-bought child of the king, and whatever God's called you to do, let me tell you, you're the apple of his eye. And... You're going to go where God told you to go. Some people are prophetess. Some people are musicians. Some people are healers. Some people are deliverance ministers. Whatever God's put a desire in your heart, whatever you think about, whatever you desire every day in God, that's what God's called you to do, baby. That's what God's called you to be in the kingdom of God. Whatever you put your mind to concerning God every day, hallelujah, Holy Ghost, that's what God's called you to do. In the kingdom of God. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Because he declared, I will give you treasures out of darkness. Isaiah 45 and 3. So whatever you went in to the enemy's camp and got that belonged to you, you can lock it away or you can... Release both the old and the new in God. The old thing that God promised you and the new thing. You can live in best of both worlds, baby, that God promised you, not what you promised you. Bless your Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord, for the power of God upon this word. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, I'm preaching kingdom today. The kingdom of heaven is a person. Hallelujah. 
the kingdom of heaven is not a parable, but it was spoke of in parables. But the Bible says that we, the Holy Ghost filled Christians, have been given the knowledge of the kingdom of heaven. We've been given foresight into the spirit. We can see ahead of just a parable and see what Christ was referring to in all situations. I love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. How many of you are ready to receive your blessing? Go in and claim it for yourself. Glory to God. That's what I've got to tell you. The Bible said that he said, position, heal thyself. Hallelujah. There's the thunder. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Finally, people wonder why God has not returned for the body. I'll give you four scriptures. Why? Maybe a little more than four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven scriptures. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. I'm almost done, friends, and the church said amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Finally, people wonder why God has not returned yet for the body. I'll give you four scriptures why. One reason, bless the power of God, thank you, Holy Ghost, is people are caught up in this sentiment that is a sin in itself for just that moment saying you can live any way you want and go to heaven. That's wrong. This grace message is a wrong message. That's not kingdom message. The good news of the gospel is that God's given you power over the works of the devil and you ain't got to live bound. You can go free and walk holy by the power of the Holy Ghost. That's the good news that he came to set you free from sin and to fill you with his Holy Ghost and set you free from the works of the devil and give you the treasure of God in the midst of your darkness. Thank you, Holy Ghost. That's the good news of the gospel. That's kingdom, friends. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. God is coming back for a church. Matthew 24, 14 now. 24, 14. Like I said, we're camping out in Matthew. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I hope somebody's getting the kingdom. Now, in understanding, you got the power of God, baby. You can do whatever you want to in God. You can just speak to that mind and command, be moved. If you won't doubt but believe in your heart, it shall be done. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Matthew 24, 14. And the gospel of the kingdom, the gospel of the Holy Ghost, the gospel of the good news of the power of God, shall be preached to all nations, and then shall the end come. The end is not an event. People have been waiting for the end of the world. The end is not an event. It is a person. It's the person of Jesus Christ. The end, the first and the last, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega, Revelation 1. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. That's who it is. It's again a person. People say, well, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free when they're telling the truth about something. That's really misquoting the gospel. The truth is not just something you say. It's who Jesus is. Again, it's a person we're talking about. This gospel has nothing to do with just a bunch of words. This gospel is a person. The person of the Holy Ghost. The person of Jesus. The Holy Ghost can be grieved. The Holy Ghost can be angered. The Holy Ghost can be sweet and loving. He's a person. He breathes. He loves. He lives. Don't grieve the presence of God. Live for God, friends. In Jesus' name, walk in the power of the Holy Ghost and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. You can live holy if you'll give the Holy Ghost a chance. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. But here's the thing. Go to Colossians 1.23. My pastor showed me this yesterday. I got so excited I couldn't help myself. I started dancing and shouting. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Colossians 1.23. Colossians 1.23. Thank you, Holy Ghost. If you continue in faith grounded and settled 
and be not moved away from the hope that's having the fallen away. Don't have the form of godliness, but deny the power of God. Don't fall away from the faith of God, friends. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. The hope of the gospel, there it is, where you have heard and were preached to every creature which is under heaven, wherefore I, Paul, have made a minister. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. He's preached. The gospel's been preached. But there's not been a demonstration of the power of God in the world. For God has wrote his name on his greatest creation that man is without excuse. They know there's a God, but they don't know his name. And he's put his name above his own creation, the book of Psalms says. He's put his name of he has put the name of Jesus, his word above his own name. That's what I'm saying. Thank you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Jesus. The word became flesh and dwelt among us. First John says. John chapter 1, it says that the flesh, the Spirit, the, the, the Word of God became flesh and dwelt among us. Christ is God in flesh. And He put His Word above His own name. And the Bible says that He sent forth His Word and healed them. Thank you, Holy Ghost. His Word is the final say. So no matter what word you heard of the enemy, God's word is you're healed, you're delivered, you're saved, set free, set apart, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, blood bought on your way to heaven, tongue talking, devil stomping. That's what God says about you. Healed and not sick, blessed and not cursed, persecuted but not abandoned, struck down but not destroyed. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Whatever the devil says about you, God says the opposite. Thank you, Holy Ghost. There are my 29, 11, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord. Thoughts of good and not of evil. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. So the gospel's been preached, and God's word is made manifest. You know, I've heard of people coming into places that have not even got the gospel and saying they found Jesus because Jesus appeared to them. If we can't get to them, he comes to them. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. What am I saying, though? If the gospel's being preached or has been preached to the world, what are we waiting on? We're blessed the power of God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. The church say they're waiting on God to show up. That ain't what the Bible says. The Bible says God's waiting on us to get our act together so we can get on out of here. I'm going to show you that in about two minutes. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. 1 and 13 of Colossians now. Go over to verse 13. Who have delivered us from the power of darkness. There is power in darkness of the enemy. But we got more power than the devil because we got Jesus. And have translated us into the kingdom. Lifted us up far above every principality and power. Ephesians chapter 2. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. And had translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In whom have redemption through his blood and forgiveness of sin. Meaning we got power over the devil. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. We got power over the flesh. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. And I see my battery is about to die. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. So Romans 8, 19 says we've got more power than the devil because the Bible says that the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead is alive in us. And the Bible said the world, the, the earth, groans together in waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. Hallelujah. Ephesians 5, 25 through 27. Christ is coming back for a church without spot or blemish. I love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Acts 1, 1 3 and 8 says that they were together in one accord. So it ain't that the gospel's not been preached. It's that the church has not come together in one accord, living holy, fasting and praying and worshiping God in one accord, setting aside religious differences. That's why God's not returned yet, because the church ain't got it together. And until the church gets it together, the earth continues to go through suffering and trials. We've got to come together in Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Lay aside every religious differences, friends. I love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. I'm giving the altar call. If you're backslid, oh, hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, I love your power, Holy Ghost. If you're backslid and lost, pray this with me. Jesus, I repent of my sins. 
I accept you now. I come back to you. I'm coming to you. Wash me, cleanse me, fill me with the Spirit of God that I might make heaven my home. In Jesus' name, I, amen and amen. I thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Believe that he died on the cross that God raised him from the dead, and you shall be saved. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love your power, Lord Jesus. If you're bound up by addiction, I break and curse the powers of addiction by the power of God. Lord, loose the band of wickedness that's bound my brother, that's bound my sister in Jesus' name. We release healing and we bind up every demon power. In the name of Jesus, we denounce the lies of the devil's, the, the devil's words that have been spoken in your ears in Jesus' name. We denounce that lie. In Jesus' name, we come in full power of God. In Jesus' name, there's a thunder backing me up. Glory to God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. I pray that scared the devil right out of somebody. In the name of Jesus, I love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. If anybody needs healing, I curse every devil of sickness. We command every devil of bondage of sickness to come out of you. Create a miracle from the body part room in heaven. Now, in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, the name above all names, do it now, Lord Jesus, for your glory in Jesus' name, Holy Ghost. Now, if you have never been baptized in the Holy Ghost in fire, I pray that Jesus, the, the Savior of this world, the Son of God, the baptizer in the Holy Ghost, said out of your belly will flow rivers of living water. And hallelujah, Holy Ghost, since, Lord, since you can't never make a mistake, Thank you, Holy Ghost. I ask you to baptize in the power of the Holy Ghost in fire. In the name of Jesus, Brenda, God is going to bless you and everything will be well, whoever Brenda is. God says to tell you, Brenda, everything is well. Go home and don't worry. Hallelujah, for God says I've taken care of it. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love the spirit of prophecy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for tuning in to HR Revivals. Now, wait, 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 wait. Fire! Fire, 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 fire. Fire of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name, by the power of God. Come upon you, for you will receive power when the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. But the book of Acts, chapter 1, says that he's, they said, what about your coming? And of the kingdom, he said, for it's not for you to know the seasons or the times that God has got in mind, in, in, in place. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Go there with me really quick. Bless you, Holy Ghost. Lord, set everybody free from every religious spirit. In Jesus' name, thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you for tuning in to HR Revivals, where it's always the hour for revival. I am your brother in the Lord, Brother HR. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. The name of next week's sermon is called The Handwriting on the Wall. Don't want to miss that. Have mercy. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Acts 1, 3, and 8. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And I'm done. After that, I'm already done, but I just want to share that with you. Acts 1, 3, and 8 before this phone dies. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost, to whom, at, whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs, being seen of them forty days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God, speaking about the Holy Ghost and the baptism of the Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. And being assembled together with them, there's the latter rain, glory to God. The latter rain is better than the former rain, glory to God. Thank you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Lord. And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which saith he, you have heard of me. For John truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence. When they therefore came together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore unto us the kingdom of Israel, meaning an earthly kingdom. But remember, he done told Pilate, the kingdom of God is not of this world. Thank you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Jesus. And they said unto them, it is not for you to know the time or the season which the Father has put in his own power, power of the Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. But you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And you shall be my witnesses in both 
Jerusalem and Judea and all the Samaria and the other most parts of the world. I love you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. And the Bible says in the book of Mark 16, 20, that they went everywhere after Jesus done departed and went to the Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. The Bible said that they went everywhere with the signs and wonders following, the Lord working through them. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Somebody with an issue in the foot, you feel like a like a jabbing pain in the foot. God's healing your foot. It's like on the very bone of the right foot. God's healing that right now. Bless your Holy Ghost for the power of God. In Jesus' name, fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire, fire, fire of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to HR Revivals, where it's always the hour for revival. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I'm your brother in the Lord, Brother HR, and I am so happy that you tuned in today. Write to me. Brother H.R. 3374, Tannersville Road, Gainesville, Georgia, 30507. In Jesus' name, I want to hear from you and let me hear what God has done for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Love y'all. God bless you. See you there in the next meeting or I'll see you in the air in heaven. God bless. I love you.